Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Stable video. Um, so SSO released a new update with uh, finding out Galloper Thompson's backstory and I really want to find out what it is. You can also find new things on the chair ride. Um, so that's going to be fun, we're going to look into that later. But right now, let's just go ahead and get into the video so I don't have to make like another thing. Okay. Vanda, it's you. It's good you've come. I was just bracing myself for what I would find on the other side. Last night, I had the most frightful dream. I saw a forbidding fortress drifting in a boundless expanse of gloom and shadow, and the master of this dark domain was none other than Galloper Thompson. He was restless, impatient for the season when the barrier separating the living from the dead would weaken and allow him to cross. That season has arrived, and now Galloper and his horse ride across the night sky. Some say he's hunting for victims to drag back to his keep. Others think that he's kidnapping lost souls. I have encountered Galloper before. I believe he's misunderstood, tormented, and confused. I want to help him. So, here we stand, before the gateway to Galloper's keep. Today, we start getting answers. Let's go together. Follow me, Vonda. Wait, oh, you're walking? Oh, can we just, like, go in? This is exactly what I saw in my dream. But where is Galloper? Perhaps he's out on the wild hunt across Yorvik? Follow me. Let's find a plot. Sorry. Let's find a quiet place to set up camp and think for a moment. Okay, um, why do we set up camp? Excuse me? Oh, no, not on the island. Spirits don't want to go there, so I don't want to go there. Here, away from the main fortress. I'm, I'm already going there, like, I know where it is on my map, so you can walk, but I'm here. Wow, well, this is perfect. We'll make camp in the shadow of the tower here. Okay, do we just, like, go over here? Or, like, where do we go? No, no, I can't do that. I'm, like, struggling. Away from the noisy spirits and hidden in case Oliver comes back. Give me a moment to set up camp. That's nice. Let me know when you're ready to hear the strange story of Galloper Thompson's life and his even stranger death. The history books say, the history books say that a man, Gunnar Thrumpson, has a valued, was a valued and loyal soldier to Jan Jarl nearly 900 years ago. An odd man with a fitting name, Gunnar was described as per possessing a dark and brooding nature, but valiant and loyal loyal in all things to Jan Jarl. John, I don't know. Eventually, Thrupson became pronounced Thompson, as new settlers and tongues landed upon Jorvik in the following centuries. No horse would allow Gunnar to approach it, and the other soldiers and servants avoid him. They secretly make, made a mock of him, perhaps out of jealousy or out of fear. They nicknamed him Galloper. Galloper, a cruel joke. One day, a wild and fearsome mare appeared, a great Blackshire, rumored to be from the lands in the east beyond your mountains. This horse permitted no other but Galloper near and to ride. At last, she had found a companion. She was an immense shire, dark as moonless night, whose fierce aspects and wild nature unnerved the Arvel's men. The mere presence of the horse distressed and alarmed other animals, setting them into panic and a frightful state. Galloper and the shire became inseparable, their unique bond of a source of wonder and gossip. Galloper Thompson earned a position beside Jan Jarl as his personal bodyguard and advisor. He performed great tasks for Jan Jarl, even defending him against a dangerous uprising of rebellious lords. Resentment and rumor ran rampant through the army. Superstition and fear fed tales of wizardry and dark magic. Hatred overcame dread, and hidden mockery became open desertion. Jan the Jarl ordered Galloper to be held responsible for his alleged crimes. Galloper was captured and browned, shackled and shamed. He was brought upon before his king. Jan Jarl stood as lord and judge, passing sentence upon his faithful servant. When Galloper was brought before the executioner's block, hundreds of the Jarl's men arrived to celebrate the spectacle. Their previous superstition was proven to righteous when Galloper rose from the executioner's block and revealed his immortality. Forelock in history is muddled here, 
but the prevailing theory was that the source of Jalapa's strength, his bond with the Jarl, and his immortality stemmed from a powerful witch from the Devil's Gap. One full year after his execution, the headless Galapa Thompson was spotted riding a flaming mare across the night sky for the first time. There have been sightings every autumn since. As we sit in the shadow of this tower, I can feel that there's more to the story, begging to be told. It feels like a world forgotten, but restlessly waiting on the tip of my tongue to be spoken out loud. Very interesting story. I can feel something pulling me to Paddock Island. Perhaps we should go investigate. Maybe we can find out what happened that drove Gallop and Yon Yala apart. We must hurry to the Paddock Island. I sense that something is about to happen there. I'll meet you there. Ooh, we get some. We get, we get some. We get some XP from a horsey over here who's level 12 that I got when this update came out. Hush, keep your voice down. Galloper arrived just before you got here. We'll wait until he leaves and then investigate to see if we could find what he's come here for. Something seemed off about Galloper. More off than usual, at least. See those little dancing lights? I think those are memory fragments. Give me a handful and I should be able to decipher them. I'll stay here and stand watch, just in case Galloper. Oh god. Good luck finding all of them. Give me a moment to make sense of them. Hmm. This is a knight. This is knight. Galloper's horse. Died. Let me know when you have a moment. I can tell you when to see within this myth, myth, myth. You know. I see a building. A stable by its appearance. This is the. It's this place. This was a stable. Galloper's stable. It has been rumored that Galloper's mount cannot be stabled with other horses. So is that why it's so far removed? It begins. There's a mob, frightened and superstitious. They surround the stable. They are full of fear and anger. Soldiers move through the milling throng. They are there to take Galloper. A young man stands in the stable with a great mare. It must be Galloper. His eyes are so green and bright, they are filled with grief. His arms are wrapped around the mare's neck. He is whispering his goodbyes as the soldiers enter the stable. It is just Galloper and his horse facing Yal's men. Galloper surrenders. This horse snorts and screams, her displeasure and fear as the soldiers take him away. She kicks the walls and stamps the floor. The soldiers recoil from her anger. There is confusion. The mob churns and surges. A fire has broken out. Was a lantern thrown into the stable? Was a torch dropped? I cannot see clearly. The smoke and flames blind my view. The stables are ablaze. The horse is trapped. The soldiers struggle to smother the flames. The mob has fallen back, stunned at the spectacle. The mare screams of terror, rise with the flames, matched by Galloper's howls of horror. The flames are extinguished. A stunned silence is settled. Smoke and cinders still float in the air. Galloper has collapsed, overwhelmed by grief and shock. Jan Jarl has arrived, surveying the damage. He stares long at the ruin, an anger behind his eyes. He, his fury rises as he turns to confront Galloper, now slumped upon the ground. Galloper knows the true source of y'all, okay. but the mare died that night. How did she return? Was it the dark magic and witchcraft, witchcraft that was rumored? Did the mysterious witch of the legend also enter the shadow and know with the shire with power? It's a sad truth that even good people were driven by fear, will lash out and destroy the things they do not understand. I am not sure who or what is pulling me to Jarlheim, but I think that's the next place we'll find answers. Let's ride there together. Maybe that's where we'll find Galloper in another memory. Um, you, why are you riding like that? Why are you going so slow? Okay, wh why are you actually fast today? Linda, you're never fast. Okay. Oh, there's Linda. Okay, I didn't know where she went. Oh, I can't read that. Something powerful must be contained inside this memory. I can feel it squirming with fear, fear and anger. Wow, amazing. This is Galloper's death. Oh, we get to see death. 
Galloper is being taken to a place of execution. He is surrounded by the king's men and townsfolk. They jeer and mock him, hurling insults and garbage at him. Now, standing before the executioner's block, he seems unmoved to the wo words being spoken by Jan Jarl. He has he given up hope? No. There's a quiet intensity about him. The shock of his king's cruelty and the horrific death of his truest companion has marked him deeply. Numbly, he kneels before the block. His lips are moving silently. What is he saying? The mask executioner raises his axe. Oh, I cannot look. The axe drops. His sad, green eyes have a startled look, almost as if they see me. Wait. The co Once the cheering crowd falls silent, their faces stunned, filled with horror and alarm. Something is amiss. The body, Gallop's body, is moving. It pushed itself up from the block, a green glow slowly engulfing the headless frame. The crowd is in panic. They struggle to run away. Some of the soldiers stab at him to no avail. Something else is happening. The crowd is being hurled aside. It's the Shire. It's coat even darker. So much that it seems to devour the very light. It's made it so fiery and bright. A blinding apparition of a shadow and flame. It strikes terror to the guards and townsfolk. The few who were able to face the headless revenant are now broken and fleeing. Even Jan Jarl is nowhere to be seen. Calmly and purposely, Galloper climbs astride the Shire's sturdy back. Away they escape, galloping into the sky. And this is the revival of his horse and the true beginning of Galloper Thompson, the headless horseman that haunts Jovic to this day. This is a lot to think about. We should head back to Galloper's keep to think things over. I don't immediately feel the same presence pulling me to another location either, so maybe Galloper has even gone back. Let me collect my thoughts and I'll meet you there. Okay, so there's one like over here somewhere. Yeah, it's up here. So we can just go through this and then we can meet her back at our quote unquote camp. I really like Galloper's backstory. It adds a lot to his character because we didn't really know about him that much. And so we really didn't have, we really didn't know like what happens, but now like he's not such a static character. I learned that in ELA, okay? Now he's not like such a static character, like we know what's going on and what went on with him, like his backstory. So we've recovered two memories, the death of the Galloper's horse and the return of Galloper's horse at the site of his execution. Galloper and his horse were inseparable in life and de in death. The two have never seen been seen in Jorvik apart from each other. What are these memories trying to tell us? I wanted to return here to give myself a moment to think, but also to see if I could sense out where we should travel to next. Galloper is nowhere to be found here, so he must be out in Jorvik. Maybe the memories will give us a clue? The death of Galloper's horse, then the death of Galloper himself. Oh wait, perhaps it's the opposite. The rebirth of Galloper's horse, then the rebirth of Galloper. The only time they've been apart on Jorvik in hundreds of years was the time between their deaths. But why does that matter? What do you think, Fonda? Which I originally gave but gradually send that magic to his horse, the bond between Galloper and his horse, and give them to our world, Galloper's. That's very possible, but did Galloper know? It seems like he really thought his horse had died in the fire. I'm sorry, Fonda. Wait a moment. I feel something. Previously, when I felt something pull me to somewhere, it felt like a faint echo and a blurry image in my mind. Now I feel something booming, almost forcibly filling my mind with the image of Devil's Gap and the Forgotten Fields. Oh. Whatever this is, it isn't related to a memory. Something is happening right now. There's no time, Vonda. Let me ride with you. We need to go to the Forgotten Fields right now. Dang it, we can't follow her any further. Where could she be going? Wait, I sense a present, the one that called us here. This isn't a memory or an echo of the past. Something is happening now. Gunnar Thompson, your task is not yet complete. You cannot escape your gift that you simply, that simply or did another seek to thwart out your pact. No matter what, no matter what have we done cannot so easily be undone. Your memories are restored as it, your memories are restored as it, as is your destiny, remember now the name of your steed and be rejoined in its power. I don't know what that said. Mm -hmm. Whatever, what was that? 
Gallop of course, Morgan is gone. Whoever pulled us here, we're also drawing Morgan to the Devil's Gap. There isn't anything we can do from here right now. We should look for Galloper back at the keep. Uh, so, here now. Morgan has returned to Galloper, it seems, but something is off. I can feel the change in him. Morgan, I can't believe I never considered the name or origin of Galloper's horse. The name itself feels old, old and powerful. The voice that spoke from the mountain must have returned the memory of this name to Galloper. Where once I could feel that Galloper was blinded by rage, he now seemed composed, focused, perhaps even more dangerous than before. Someone or something must have tried to undo Galloper's memories, but why? To break his bond with Morgan? Who would gain from that, and how? I'm sure this is a great deal more to be uncovered, but I sense the answers won't be known for some time. I must return to the text and research deeper into your past. We still don't know who gave Galloper his gift, nor the motives. Whoever or whatever it is, are quite pow powerful, or if they are descendants of us today. I sense they are rebonded, but it feels different somehow, more powerful. Focused? Yes. I sense not only renewal, but an additional help purpose. Perhaps whoever tried to steal his memories away unwittingly awoke new ones? I can sense that this is the be beginning of something very big. The strong bond between them was cut with but cinders compared to the raging inferno I feel burning within Morgan's heart. I guess all we can do is now, now is wait. I'll rest beside the fire here for now and keep an eye on them both. Wait, it's so like, is it gonna be? No, I don't wanna like do this. Okay, so there's no other quests that we can do. And like, this is like the last, okay. So we're gonna go look at the haunted trail ride. 44, oh my God. I wanna get the squash so bad, but like I have nothing that goes with it. I want the orange squash. I don't think I'm gonna get the squash. I've spent too many star coins already on things. Um, so here is the upward pile. So apparently now you can collect things on the trail ride.
Oh, I messed up. Okay. Anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!